Welcome to Techphiliac. Keep watching this video to know, what is CAPTCHA, why do we need CAPTCHA, how CAPTCHA works, and what is ReCAPTCHA. We all would have encountered with this annoying CAPTCHA thing on internet while booking online tickets, registering for something or while commenting on someone's blog and many such websites. Yes, it annoys us to write those jumbled, distorted letters or numbers to complete our work. But do you know why we need to do this? Firstly let's talk about what is CAPTCHA. CAPTCHA is an acronym that stands for Completely Automated Public Turing Test to Tell Computers and Humans Apart. As the full name suggests, CAPTCHA is a test to distinguish whether the visitor is a human or bots. So why do we need this CAPTCHA? The aim of CAPTCHA is to protect a website from DOS attacks, spammers and bots. If someone performs a DOS attack on a website, the website won't be able to return the results. The website gets blocked by receiving hundreds of requests per second. Some can even face problem by receiving hundreds of comments on their website or blog. Thus a CAPTCHA test is to be given to secure blogs and websites from automated programs. Someone can set up many new email accounts from free email providers which do not use CAPTCHA and send spam emails to people. So, CAPTCHA provides protection from all such problems. Now how CAPTCHA works? Only thing that a computer cannot do is to think like a human. Making use of this, CAPTCHA is created. We are given some distorted letters, numbers or any such easy problems and are asked to identify or solve to give answer. It is very easy for us to do so but any computer program can't pass such tests and thus can't enter in the website. Those letters and numbers are distorted to make the test harder for bots, as computer programs can scan and could identify them from the patterns and shapes of those letters and numbers. According to experts, humans have success rate of 80% for solving a CAPTCHA while machines have only 0.01%. Let's know what is ReCAPTCHA. ReCAPTCHA is somewhat similar to CAPTCHA where you again have to just copy what is there on screen. But here instead of any random distorted numbers and letters, a pair of random words from real books, that cannot be read by computers are given. Solving that, apart from test, books are also digitalized which can be then read online as e-books. Now these reCAPTCHA are getting more simple where you have to just identify the images and click on the box that says I am not a robot. Computer judges by tracking the movement of the cursor as our cursor's movement is different from bots. These images may ask about some signboard or can ask which of those have vehicles and such other. By solving these reCAPTCHAs, advantage of preserving books, improving maps and solving hard AI problems is gained. That's all. Hope you liked this video. Comment your views about the video or any other information about CAPTCHA that you want to share. Don't forget to like and share this video. Click here to subscribe and be updated with the channel and click here to watch my last videos.